the another examples of linear equation in true integral. In the last lecture, we have studied the introductions of linear equation in y and variable, and we have seen one example of related to this equation. Now, see here. So this is the first equation: x plus 3y equal to 5, and x minus y equals to 1. So here, this is the first equation. The so first equation we will consider as x plus 3y equals to 5. We will call this as equation number 1. And another equation is x minus y equals to 1. So we will call this as equation number 2. Now, we have seen in the last lecture that we have to make the two equations as same coefficient. So here you can see the coefficient of x is 1. Here you can see the coefficient of y is 3. And here you can see the coefficient that this is not the coefficient that is a constant is 5. And here you can see the coefficient of x is 1, coefficient of y is minus 1 and the constant is 1. So here you can make the coefficient of y as similar to coefficient of y here. So we have to make these two coefficients will be same. So here this is 3, we have to make this as 3. So we will multiply the whole equation number 2 with 3. You can see here, this is x plus 3y equal to 5 and this is x minus y equals to 1. So we have to make this as same. So how will you make this as 3? So we will multiply the equation 2 by 3. So what we have to write here? Multiply equation 2 by 3. V again. So what do you get here? So you can write here 3 into x minus y equals to 1. Now you can see here, when you multiply this, so what you will get? 3 into x, this will be 3x. Three, 3 into y, this will be minus 3y, is equals to 3 1 the 3. Call this as equation number 3. Now you can see here, this is x plus 3y equals to 5 in equation number 1. Okay? And here you can see 3x minus 3y equals to 3. So you can see there is a same coefficient of y here you can see plus 3y minus 3y. So we have made this same coefficient. Now what we have to do? The first step we have done that we have to make the coefficient of y as similar. So we have done this. Now we will come to the second step. In the second step what we have to do? If when the coefficient of y becomes same, after that we have to see the sign. Okay, before the coefficient of y you can see there is a plus sign here and there is a minus sign here. So if there is a opposite sign, there are opposite signs, so we have to add equation 1 and equation 3. If there are similar sign, means here it is plus and if, if in case here it is plus, so we have to subtract these two equations. If both the coefficients have similar sign, means both are positive, both are negative, so we have to subtract. If the both sign are opposite, we have to add. So here we have to add adding equation 1 and 3 v again here you can see first equation is x plus 3y equals to 5 and 3x minus 3y equals to 3 when you add this equation so what you will get listen here this plus 3y this minus 3y this will get cancelled because they are opposite opposite sign okay and same number and we have to add this 3x here it is 1x no number means there is 1. If there is no number, that means there is a 1. 3 plus 1 is 4x is equal to 5 plus 3 is 8. This 4 will go to the division because it is in multiplication. So what you will get? x equal to 8 upon 4. 4 1 the 4, 4 2 is 8. When you divide these two, you will get x equals to 2. This is the first answer. Now we got the value of x. Now how to find the value of y? So we have to substitute this equation x equals to 2 in either equation number 1 or equation number 2 or equation number 3. Out of these three equations you can substitute in any one of the equations. So we have to substitute the x equal to 2 in either equation number 1, 2 or 3. So when we, uh, when we have to substitute here, so we will substitute this x equals to 2 in equation number 1. So here we have to write put x equal to 2 in equation number 1. What I said before, as you get the value of x equals to 2, so you can substitute this value in either equation number 1, in equation number 2, or equation number 3. So I have substituted this value in equation number 1. So you can see here, 
the equation number one is x plus 3y equal to 5 so x is 2 so 2 plus 3y equals to 5 this 2 will go to that side that become minus so 3y equal to 5 minus 2 so 3y is same 5 minus 2 is 3 we have to subtract this 2 what will get 3 this we will go to the division so y equal to 3 upon 3 after dividing this 3 1 the 3 3 1 the 3 what will get y equal to 1 so value of x is 2 and y is 1 so this is the answer i hope you understood so same manner in the same way you can solve this equation here i have written this equation this equation you have to solve for the homework so this two equation you have to solve for the homework same manner you have to solve if you understood my this lecture and if i have any if you have any difficulty with this lecture so you can comment me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram. Thank you.